to each and everyone. I hope you are all safe and I hope everyone is happy and I hope everyone is very much excited to learn another topic for this morning. But before anything else, and before we start with our lesson proper for this morning, may I request everyone to please close your eyes for our solemn prayer. Our loving Father, we praise and glorify your name each day. We thank you for all the blessings, especially the gift of life you showered upon us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to learn in this time of global pandemic. Bless our classmates, teachers, and school that we may bring hope to our community. We humbly ask for your forgiveness to all of our shortcomings and help us to be a better person. Grant us wisdom, peace of mind, and pure heart to be a blessing to other people. Father, we are grateful that you are true and your word that you are with us and will not leave us. May you continue to bless us with your grace and love. We ask all this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our memory verse of this week taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. It says that, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So this verse class, this is a promise of God to each and every one of us. Whether you are a teacher, students, or a parents, always remember this that the, that the Lord has a plan for each and every one of us. Maybe you are facing right now some difficulty, some disappointments, broken relationship or maybe you are in the tough moment of your life we're in the give up ka na. always remember this that this promise of God gives us hope and the Lord is faithful to do his promise to us he because he is the same yesterday today and forever so don't give up be faithful in serving the Lord so this morning welcome to our topic solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots last meeting yeah by factoring today extracting square roots kita so first what is quadratic equations quadratic equations are equations where the largest exponent or power of a term is 2 the general form of any quadratic equation is given by ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. O di ba, labig-labig? Na, amo na ang quadratic. So, si quadratic comes from the word quadratus, which means square. O sa lingot sa quadratic equations are square equations. So, nagsindihan, anong meaning ka quadratic equations? Okay. Some quadratic equations cannot be easily resolved by factoring sa atong inimuligad. Square roots can be used to solve some of these quadratic equations. So, pa, then it's extract the square roots. Recall natin from lesson 1 to 5 that every positive real numbers has two square roots. One positive, kag may isa ka negative. So, sa factoring to natin, di ba may solution kita dito? May ara negative, may ara positive. May ara ganit isa puro negative, may ara mag isa puro positive. So, mag square root kita, isa dira negative, isa dira positive. So, when you take the square root of a positive, uh, number and the sign of the square root is not indicated, you must find both the positive and negative square root. This is indicated by positive negative square root ka symbol. So 3 times 3 is equal to 3 squared. Si 3 squared, 3 times 3 na 9. So kung ang square root ni 9, 3 ang answer. So positive square root of 9 na siya. Ang 3. Kung mag negative square root of 9, syempre negative 3 man siya. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9 man siya gapon. 
So, may hara kita positive negative square root is na of 9 is equal to positive negative square root of uh, square root positive negative square root of 9 is equal to positive negative 3. Example 1 using square root to solve x squared equals a. Solve using square root, check your answer. x squared minus 1 equals 169. Solve for x by taking the square root of both sides. Use positive negative to show both square roots. So, pwede na siya magamit ninyo calculator nyo. Magkuha ka mo, square root ni 169. A square, na sila nga duwa both sides. Amo nang guwa ya. Mag square root kita gani, gakancel na na dahil ito ang square root exponents ang x. So, ano ang square root ni 169? Positive, negative, 13. So, ang solutions are 13 and negative 13. So, substitute ang 13 and negative 13 sa original equation. Kung isubstitute na natin siya sa x squared, for example, 13 squared. So, 13 times 13 equal na siya 169. Kung negative 13 gamitin ta, negative 13 times negative 13 is positive 169. Okay, positive times, ay, negative times negative is equal to positive. So, ara siya. Check. O, di ba? Check to. Ah, muna siya mag-check. The same sa piyak, sa negative niya ng roots. Example 1. X squared equals negative 49. So, is square ta lang both sides. Square root na sila. So, makancel si squared sa X. Ito pa ang ta. Square root sa negative 49. That there is no real number whose square is negative. There is no real solution. Kaya nga, ha? ang negative number, kung square root naton, wala na siya ya sa iya nga square root. Kaya ang aton ina mag-negative na, no real solution na na siya. So, by using square roots, check your answer. So, ara na, x minus 5 squared equals 16. Diba? Take the square root of both sides. Square root ni e square root ta si x minus 5 squared mabilin is x minus 5. Si 16 na dao. E square root si 16, positive, negative, 4. Write two equations using both the positive and negative square root. So, ara, x minus 5 equals 4, x minus 5 equals negative 4. So, may ara kita 5 plus 5. Tapiak man, 5 plus 5. Ano na siya? Nga nag 5 plus 5. Nga 5 plus 5. Lantawo na ton, para makancel na ton, ang negative 5 kag x ang mabilin, i-plusan ta siya 5 para mag-equal 0. So may 4 plus 5 equals 9. Sa piyak, the same man. Para makancel sa negative 5, plusan ta 5 para x bilin. So negative 4 plus 5 is equal to 1. Therefore, solutions is or are 9 kag ang 1. So, when solving quadratic equations by using square roots, you may need to find the square root of a number that is not a perfect square. So, in this case, the answer is an irrational number. So, you can approximate the solutions. Example, round to the nearest hundred. Anong square root ni 15? Mayara kita is take the square root on both sides para magwa na lang sa square root sa x. Mabilin is x is square root na si 15. So, ano iya? Evaluate square root 15 sa calculator. Ano nang magwa? x is equal to positive negative 3.87. Approximation lang na siya. But not amugit. Hindi na siya nga amugit na ang square root ni 15. Ginaround na lang na sa nearest 100 kay approximation lang. Basta ang aton na kuwan hindi perfect square ang aton number. So the approximate solutions are 3.87 and negative 3.87. Another, negative 3x squared plus 90 equals 0. So, ang approximate solution sina nila is 5.48 kag negative 5.48. Use a graphing calculator to support your answer. So, hindi ka muna yung magamit kaya wala mang ka muna sa graphing calculator. Pero kung may graphing calculator, amo ang gwa ya. The same parabola na siya gapon. Kaya kung i-graph na nato ng quadratic equation, ang iya sina nga graph is parabola. But silingon, kung may graphing calculator ka, amo ang magwa. Example, application sa real life. Miss Perzada is building a retaining wall along one of the long sides of her rectangular garden. The garden is twice as long as it is wide. It also has been an area of 578 square feet. What will be the length of the retaining wall? So, hindi mo na siya nga magamit. Kaya nga ba lang as twice as long as it is wide? So, may aras ako ng area nga 578. 
So, x plus 2x equals 578. So, ato lang na siya i gamitan sa extracting square root process. So, let x represent the width of the garden. Use the formula sa rectangle area. Sa rectangle is length times width. Length is twice the width. So, ano may arang kita? Length is equal to width. Kahit twice the width ang atong length. So, substitute lang na si x for w, 2x for l, and 578 for a. So, may ara kita 2x times x equals 578. So, kung i-times na na siya, may 2x squared equals 578. So, extract na ito, square root both side para ma 2x bilhin. So, kwa anta, square root si 578. Divide both side by 2. Muna siya. Kung shortcut, pwede ka na kaagi. Divide mo una by 2. So, mabilhin is x squared equals na square root of positive negative 289. So, pila ang iyong square root, evaluate sa calculator, positive negative 17. Therefore, negative numbers are not reasonable for width, so x equals 17. Hindi man natin pwede gamitin si negative. Always natin ginakwa tira is si positive. So, 17 is the only solution that makes sense. Therefore, the length is to width or ang iyang width kang ina is 17. So, ang iyang length is twice kung nasang width. Therefore, 2 times 17 equals 34.